Newly unearthed testimony by Trump's communications uh, communications director, Alyssa Farah Griffin, notes that there were people in the administration who knew that Trump clearly lost the 2020 election, but they continued to lie about it publicly for their own careers. To which I say, actually, no, Cenk, I'm gonna go to you. To which you say, of course. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm glad we had the testimony under oath, but we all knew that this was going on. With that said though, what did she say during her testimony? She says, they were just straight up lying to the public. She told the committee in an April 15th interview, according to a transcript that the panel released on Thursday of this week. And this was reported by TYT Investigates, Matthew Sheffield to be specific, and Griffin named names. Uh, she named several top Republican professionals as deliberately promoting falsehoods, particularly Kaylee McEnany, who was uh, serving as Trump's White House press secretary at the time, but subsequently landed a pretty cushy job uh, as co host of Outnumbered. So she said, Alyssa Farah Griffin said during her testimony, Kaylee is a liar and an opportunist. She's a smart woman. She's a Harvard Law grad, this, this is not an idiot. She knew we lost the election, but she made a calculation that she wanted to have a certain life post Trump that required staying in his good graces. And that was more important to her than telling the truth to the American people, ouch. She accused others of doing the same, including Ronna McDaniel, Jason Miller, also Dan Scavino, who was Trump's social media coordinator. They were doing this to protect their careers. She also named Johnny McEnty, who is or was serving as director of the White House Personnel Office. According to Griffin's testimony, McEnty told Trump White House staffers and his political appointees in the executive branch that they would be immediately fired if they were discovered to be looking for a new job. It was meant to put fear into the staff who weren't being loyal and staying with the president, Griffin said. So, uh, look, I think this story is interesting if it gets through to any right wingers. None of these people believe the things that they're telling you. By the way, here I'll add a silver lining so you know I'm authentic. Um, the silver lining if you're MAGA in this story is apparently Trump's a true believer. Like he's the one that believes in all of the lunatic conspiracy theories. And so, but the rest of the people that work around him, all of them, all of them, even including all your fan favorites, Hannity, McEnany, you name it, all of the ghouls and goblins, Kellyanne Conway, etc. None of them believe it. They all think you're suckers. So they're thinking, well, of course we're gonna lie to you on purpose so we can monetize our fame later. They all think that. They think you're the mark at the table. What is it going to get through your thick skull? Thanks for watching The Young Turks. I really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you got to do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.